Let's check it out on the inside. So there again all this stuff in a month? Or two yes. months and a half? Yes, it's quite yeah. right. Outstanding. Right before so the this is board. the community room kind of Hi, sir. area. Hi, sir. How's it going? How's it going, sir? Good. Good. Jeff? Good. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, Rita Costa. Rita. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, here's a uh, kind of do a YouTube channel somewhere. Uh, Oh, uh, yeah. We're from Syria, so we heard there was a deal going yeah. on. Yeah, we can check it out. Oh, yeah. that's right. Uh, Robert, yeah. is he? Yeah, he's outside. He's, uh, he's, he's going to bring the. Uh, uh, some, the yeah. Right. Well, welcome. Yeah, well, and, and uh, you know we, we were hoping to, to learn a little bit because we, we've been poking and prodding and, know. Uh, you know the, the county down in Monterey, and and so having a, a wraparound services is totally. Uh, and then say, yeah, you know what? No, I mean, really, really what you're doing. So here, you got this front area, which is all designated for the emergency shelter. Phase two, which is it's going to be a little bit different design than this, but phase two is your for services, the whole the personal care, you do the assessments, you know, then determine what are your needs. Do you need, do you need uh, counseling? Do you need job training? Do you need employment readiness? Uh, so there'll be some social workers, housing navigators, uh, street outreach individuals. So the idea is to provide services. Phase three is transitional shelter. Mm -hmm. So right now we have funding secure for phase one and phase two. In phase three, we're in the process of submitting an application. Okay. So. But you can at least do you're, you're doing the overnight, the whole person care. And then sleep overnight now, um, whole person care is phase two, which is okay. we already got the funding. So the architect will be doing our renderings pretty soon for phase two. Um, and then doing the bids and all that. So I would say hopefully by the end of next year we'll have phase two all completed. And so it, all of these, this part is still inside the building? Yeah. This so phase we'll, three? Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll go through here. Everything's right. here. The yeah. whole building is about 12,500 or so square feet. Okay. And phase one consists of about 46, 4700, and it's all the emergency shelter. And phase two is all the services that I mentioned, and phase three is transition shelter. So it's a one stop shop in a sense. And that's the idea. The whole vision started about four years ago, and it's exciting to see this progress. This is my program, but my program was the tank community. You guys have a building, but the same, have you guys all the resources and everything? So that's what we had yeah. in a tent community. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And there's know. already funding secure for services phase two with whole person care. Excellent. Yeah, we got a uh, five, million, five million bucks or something. Yeah. So this here is is the kind of community area. So this is where they'll have uh, meals and maybe some evening workshops. Good. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh, an open area for them to come in and eat, serving area and eating area and so forth. Uh, this is equipped for about 50 individuals, 28 males and 22 females. And this is a men's side. So let me uh, get into here. So here we have uh, 14 bunk beds, 20 beds. And this is big enough for for you know, 20 individuals. So people will come in, we'll go for dinner, transition here. We'll have security. We'll have at least two staff uh, on site. We'll provide uh, meals, a warm dinner. Uh, we'll provide some transportation assistance for those that need uh, transportation. Nice. Now, yeah, I'm here. You have the uh, restrooms and showers. We'll have some lockers as well. Okay. This will be the men's restroom showers. This is the females. Okay. And the women's sleeping area is separated so that the women area is over here in the air. <clears throat> Keeps them well separated. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have, of course, monitoring and so forth. So 22 females here. Okay. And this will be ready, kickoff, grand opening, the 1st of December. Wow. Wow. It looks like a lot of work, but things are moving forward. Right.
Well, we should get the walls up. Right. Well, exactly. Next, we got next week, we'll have the, uh, the sidings, uh, what do you call the uh, she rock? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this will be ready by the end of the Yeah, that's the thing. But most important thing is you got the building. You got it. You know? mm -hmm. right. So then uh, for phase three, we're using another maybe 5,000 or so square feet, which might be this area and part of over here as well. This is what whole person care and doing all the different services for our clients here. And then you also see in this rendering the phase three, so the units, the idea is to transition individuals and ready for maybe two years or so. And they'll use kind of like a, you know, that side, the remaining of that side and this side over here. So our goal is to have at least 10 units. Not bad. So it'll meet you know, some needs. For families, you know, individuals? No, it's individuals. This okay. place is all for individuals. Okay. And for families, that's also a big need. Yeah. I uh, wish we had more resources. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, more transitional shelter. I think transitional shelter is important because it's, it's addressing more of an immediate need. Uh, I think permanent housing is always the best solution, but given the low housing inventory, high cost of rents, it's it's pretty challenging. Right. So what do you think of uh, SB2 and 3? Which is uh, the uh, uh, housing... Yeah, the two housing bills that just went up well, for the governor. I wish each community could have a lot of the money because we need a lot more. Uh, we are working with some local nonprofit agencies that are in housing development companies like Chispa, which you probably know Chispa. Yes. Uh, CSTC, and we had a housing kind of meeting before this, so the idea is to build more affordable low-income low housing and transitional shelter. We're applying for, I think, a $2 million for transition shelter. Fantastic. It'll help us with this and hopefully another community project. Good. Good. We'll keep up the good work. Like I said, this is Slaughter County. Mm. You guys are making it happen. You know, no. Salinas is bigger and, I mean, they haven't, no. they yeah. haven't even came up with anything. Themselves. Right. See, so we'd be dragging their feet, quite honestly. I mean, we, we do have a, a shelter at our public defender's office that's going to come online maybe the end of November. Well, at least the vision is there. What are you going to have, two years of emergency kind of temporary yeah. facility and then eventually you have a permanent facility? Yes, sir. And at least the, uh, I don't know if it's city council or supervisors, they're allocating monies to... And you're moving towards that direction. Yeah, but they can't. Right. Yeah. And like you said, it took you four years. You can't yeah. see the idea. It took us a while. So we know. But for in the meantime, yeah. what did the people need? They need a place yeah. to be able to rest their head, you know? Yeah. Right. And it hasn't been an easy ride, let me tell you. From sure. site selection. Right. This is like our seventh or eighth site selection, you know, having to identify one and community didn't want it, another side, another side, and finally, this is where it landed, and actually, this is probably the most ideal because we're close to Health and Human Services Agency, so Health and Services, mm -hmm. the right. Food Bank is next door, the Job Training Program, yeah, the bank. America's Job Center. So I think this is a good location, yeah. and then access to mm -hmm. transportation is right up front, and well, so and I, it's going to work out. I think this is probably yeah. the best place. <laughs> nice. Well, of course, you guys didn't give up on your dream, right? Yeah. Without falling on it. Um, this yep. So we're we're very excited. So. Hold on. I'm so excited. Really I'm just like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Accomplished. Right. Almost ready to go. Yeah, but once you get it done, you need to get ongoing funding, revenue, to operate as yeah. people. Facility. Yeah. So we'll still try to identify. We've secured most of the funding, but what you need is ongoing revenue, year after year. So. Yeah. We have a vision, we have the will and desire, so we will get there. Right on. Well, we keep on making Karen profitable, and, and uh, you know, we just might have a new industry that, that goes a lot better and makes you feel better. I mean, we, we, so, we have a lot of um, automation already, you know, I mean, it's a matter how you treat people. And if we, it's the money that gets in the way of things. I mean, it, how, much, how much food do we throw away every day, you know, every, out of every single. Exactly. I mean, we have more than a little damage, a little mark, a little small fruit. Yeah. It's thrown away. But we're working with the food bank, so I think hopefully the food will help us with uh, some resources.